Hey guys, we are back with another game of Popper. We are playing some Mono Blue Aggro with a nice little curve here. Let's keep that. Got Flare Husk into Ninja, into Briarberry, going up against Azorius Colors. Let's hope it's not Tron or something. In any case, this is looking pretty decent. It is Tron. We're in big trouble. If we're not fast enough. So let's get in with our germ. Hopefully he can't kill our ninja and we can start reaping a lot of benefits from him. Always yes. Always yield. Alright, another flare husk. Not bad. Not bad. Tower. Seagate. Actually, what we might do here is we might just equip Flare Hux so we can get by the Seagate Oracle and then just preordain. Well, let's start with the preordain anyway. Another ninja and a bone splitter. Well, I guess we could use another ninja. So let's go top, top. Equip, get in for three. He lets us have the card. Oh man, he's got Tron already? I guess it's gonna be, yep, yeah, Moldrifter. Makes sense. Hmm, Azorius Tron. Faced it not too long ago with Turbo Fog, but I still don't quite remember what it does. We'll have to see. Uh, so we got ourselves something decent here. I guess we can Bone Splitter. And then Briarberry. See if he wants to double trade here. He might be uh, looking to Ghostly Flicker. Alright, I would like to kill this one. Perfect. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, in that case, let's go with Miscreant Husk. We've got another ninja set up for next turn. Hmm. Pulse. Getting back Muldrifter. Okay. Goes back up to 22 as well. That's frustrating. Got the turn 4 Tron. Yike. That's a lot of mana. I suppose he just wants to replay his uh, Muldrifter. Probably the way to go. You can trade all day with that. Can't really do anything about it either. Don't really want to curfew. Not a second one. What's this? Oh. Okay, so it's the Flickertron. Ugh, what a boring deck. We're probably in for a long game here. Uh, so we've got Curved You. <laughs> it's just looking awful. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just play Briarberry Cohort. Let's gush. Ponder. Mmm, that's really good. Okay. Let's go top, top, top. No shuffle. And uh, pass the turn. Can't attack. We can actually counter uh, the ghostly flicker, which I'm assuming is what's going to happen here. Although with eight cards in hand, I can't imagine he doesn't have counter magic. 
Muldrifter, number three. <laughs> Up to nine cards in hand. What are we doing now? Okay, makes a land drop. What's next? Skips combat. Sure. Clean up step. Tranquil Cove. Okay, so let's play our land. I guess we can uh, scoot by with a Luteral Core. Logic not, I can't do anything about it or condescend or something. What's this? Probably condescend. Yeah, looks like it. Condescend X3. It gives it a CMC of four, which means I can't counter it, so no. It would have been nice to resolve that looter. Seems very good in this matchup, actually. Let's pass. At least now if he's got um Yeah, we're not gonna attack. Now we're going to have to slowly build on our uh, Briarberry, I guess. Goes in with both, I see. Well, we'll let him hit us for four. Go to 16. Yeah, I suppose he's building up to... Hmm. To probably flicker, maybe double flicker of Muldrifter, and then block. Hopefully our Spell Stutter Spray can get us through that. I think I still have to take the risk, though. Teachings. Okay. Capsize. Well, he's in for a nasty surprise then. Because he's not going to get that back. Even if he pays the buyback, it still has a current very mana cost of 3, which is perfect. And he doesn't have a blue source. So he's going to take five here. And next turn I could even equip the germ. Opponent's going to keep getting in with Muldrifters. Uh, we're not going to block. We 
Not another stone horn. No. Ugh. That's gross. Now if he flickers, I have to skip my next three? <laughs> Pulse on Seagate. Okay, back up to 23 you go. Right, well, we'll just equip here. I've got a very big cord. And I guess we'll just pass. We don't have a combat step, so. Oh, these curfews are so bad here. But we've got spreading seas in the sideboard, counter spells. We should be okay. Oh, not another one. Yep, it is. Can't do anything about it. Another power plant. It's not doing a whole lot, although I guess he can start attacking with a bunch of stuff. Nope, no attacks. Well, let's ponder. Alright, well, that's all good. Top, top, top. No shuffle. Player island. <sighs> I don't see a point in attacking. So, <laughs> he's just got a big wall here. We're just kind of waiting to lose. Which might not take too long. Black? Oh, for the flashback on Mystical Teachings, probably. I could actually counter that. Oh, it's Denrova Horror. Yuck. Uh, I can't counter that one, unfortunately. So that's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna bounce this guy. We're gonna discard Curfew. Now he can start slamming in for with absolutely everything. <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. I'm just going to pass, go to two. And yeah, we're very dead. There's the wall. Gets back capsize, sure. Well, let's play Flare Husk. Let's play Briarberry. And let's equip Fairy Miscreant. And let's pass the turn. I wonder if he's going to want to mess around some more. Or if he's just going to go for the swing and kill. Certainly thinking. <laughs> he 
wants to go for the overkill, that's fine with me. Let's spell stutter. Make him use up his time. We're just very, very dead. Prohibit. Ghostly Flicker. Getting back Ghostly Flicker. Okay. <laughs> we got five minutes on him, so we're going to discard curfew number two. Oh, he's just having fun now. We're going to discard Ninja. This is game one. <laughs> Almost six minutes. Feel free to skip ahead if you... Uh, at <laughs> the sideboarding or something. There we go. All right. Oh, he just concedes. Oh, what a jerk. We wanted to play our spreading seas and our counter spell. Ah. Well, that's unfortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed that match, and we'll see you next time.